Hi, we're the Stewart family and we have a family altar. Now, what does a family altar really mean to us and how do we experience it? It's about spending quality time together but with God. That's what this family altar means to us. How do we experience this? It's a matter of going to work in the mornings, ensuring that we pray together as a family, ensuring that this stays consistent on a daily basis. It's a matter of being aware of the concerns of my mom and my dad, and then being aware of the concerns that I have, and being able to pray with each other about every single thing. Seeking first the kingdom of God. This is what we mean about the family altar. It means a lot to us. So this is how we experience it. So let us see how best we can think about a scripture. First Samuel chapter 7 verse 2 to 10 reminds us that without an active family altar, the enemy would have its way in our families. The enemy would want to take over our spouse and our children. Mm -hmm. So we have to remember to have an active family altar. Yes, ma'am. Now, I must say, in a family altar, you know who is integral? Yes. The father is integral in a family and altar. And being integral in a family altar, you have to set up an altar in your home, in your car, at school, wherever you work. Don't let the devil in. Make the Lord be the first in everything you do. He is consistent, he never fails, and he's always ahead. To God be the glory. Our charge to all families, I would say, consistency. Yes. Consistency is key. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. So we are yeah, the Stuart, Stuart family, family, and, and we, we have a, a family altar. Why don't you start a family altar in your home today? Don't say you are too busy. On your way to work, in the car, you can set up your family altar. Extend your family altar to others also. Thank you.